Case 15 is a 17 year old with left upper extremity weakness. Here we have some images from a CT angiogram. You see this arterial phase here. This bright thing right here is just a palpable abnormality marker. So the patient has an abnormality that they can feel there. Just gonna show you a couple of more images from this study. These are coronal images from the same study, so just a reconstruction here. Again, you see that palpable abnormality marker there. So your question is, what is the most likely diagnosis? Do you believe this is a hemangioma, an AV malformation, a venous malformation, or a lymphatic malformation? And then what is the first line treatment for this abnormality? This is a case of an arteriovenous malformation or AV malformation. These are high flow arterial malformations that have abnormal connections between the arteries and veins. The key imaging things that you want to use is CTA and MRA. These are going to be to help you characterize what kind of flow you have in these lesions. Treatment for these are frequently surgery followed by preoperative embolization. Many times you may do radiosurgery for inoperable lesions. Now, what you're going to see for an AV malformation on CTA, you'll see a tangle of vessels that are pacified with arterial timing. On MR, the appearance is going to be variable based on what sequence you're looking at, but inevitably you're going to see some flow voids and things that, again, are arterially opacify, uh, particularly if you do any MRA that has a time-dependent component. Now, so here I'm just showing you these images again. So you see you have this cluster of abnormal vessels over here in the left neck. And it was a little bit funny because there was a palpable abnormality marker, but this lesion was definitely palpable on its own. But you see it's a pacifying very similar to the, the arteries and the neck here. And on the coronal, you see there's a large tangle of vessels, like a lot of vessels here, not a lot of intervening soft tissue, just uh, essentially a huge tangle of vessels here. Now, when you're thinking about soft tissue vascular malformations, you really should think about uh, kind of following this flow chart you should first look to see if there's a soft tissue mass. If you have a soft tissue mass component, you're really dealing with a hemangioma, and that's because it has a proliferative component. Uh, then if you don't have a soft tissue mass, you're kind of going down this path to see first whether there's high flow. If you have high flow or arterial type flow, you're dealing with an arterial venous malformation. If you have lower flow, you're either dealing with a lymphatic or venous malformation, the lymphatic malformations tend to be cystic and have fluid levels, so you'll see layers of fluid dependently with the patient. If you don't have that kind of cystic appearance, you're probably dealing with a venous malformation. Now, even though I show you this flow chart, you should remember this is really a spectrum of disease, and in many cases, we learn more and more that these are often mixed, and they can have multiple components, and we'll refer to those as mixed malformations or venolymphatic malformations. You'll see a lot of different terminology there. Just be aware that that exists. Your question B was, uh, what's the first line treatment for this abnormality? Now these are treated typically by surgery um, with or without embolization. So in most high flow lesions, like they may do some embolization to uh, try to take care of some of the larger arteries and minimize the bleeding. But then uh, ultimately like these have to be resected. Uh, inoperable lesions may be treated with radiotherapy.